today I'm going to be, I finally finished the Powerpuff Girls, but I'm only going to show you me doing one of them. I think the one that I've done is Blossom. Yeah, Blossom, Bubbles and Buttercup. Yeah, the Blossom. is. I've done Blossom. <coughs> I also filmed me doing Buttercup, who is the blonde haired one. So, hang on. No, Bubbles. Bubbles is, is the blonde haired one, sorry. So if you want to see how I done Bubbles, let me know. I didn't film Buttercup because... They're all very similar anyway. They kind of have the same, they've got like the same body shape. The only thing that's different on them is like the hair and um, Buttercup has the, she's got like the frown. But other than that, they're all pretty similar. So I'm just gonna do one. If you want to see me do this one, um, Bubbles, let me know and I can do, I can, I can edit that video. But if not, this is Blossom. So I hope you enjoy. And um, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so we're mostly gonna be using Madame Glam gel paints for this. This is the picture that I have chosen for my reference image. So I've gra I grabbed out a load of Madame Glam gel paints, but the color that I'm gonna use for the base is Madame Glam's Candyland gel polish. I chose this because it matched the base, the background color of the, the picture that I chose really well. Uh, look, see, ta-da! So I am gonna do two coats of that on the nail. Each coat will need 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And then I'm gonna use my The Little Pink Bottle Perfect Matte Top Coat, just because I'm, I'm running low on Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat. And this one, I got actually got this one, this was a spur of the moment thing. It was half price and I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab it. And actually it's a really nice matte top coat. So yeah, I'm, I got a bargain, I think, and I really like it. So the secondly, I'm going to use my mechanical pencil. This is one of the pencils with the lead that you, you have to click the top and the lead comes out. But the, the lead inside this is so thin that it gives you like a nice point and it's easier to map, to like draw out your image before you actually paint it. So, I mean, it looks a mess to be honest, but I, you know, I get the gist. <laughs> And I don't know why, but with all of them, I think I started with their hair. So I've done their hair first. Sorry, Eon. Oh. Um, and also, I think this one, um, Blossom is this one. Um, Bubbles is the blonde one and Buttercup is the green one. I only filmed me doing Blossom and Buttercup because they're, they're all very similar. Yeah, I think I told you in the in the in the face video. They're all very similar. The only thing that's different is their hair and the facial expression on on Buttercup is slightly different. But yeah, so I started with the hair and I used sorry. Yeah, so I used Madame Glam's gel paints and for the other two, I mostly used the colours straight from the pot. And I think this one was the one that I mixed the colours up the most. So when I do mix the colours to create a new colour, I will let you know what I've mixed. So that's going to go in the lamp now for 60 seconds. So this is the first, the first two colours that I mixed were, um, 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 that when I looked at her bun, not her bun, her bow, it looked like an orangey red or a very dark orange. So I mixed the red with the orange and I mean, against the orange of her hair, it still looks quite red, but it's definitely more of an orangey red here. I probably could have added a little bit more orange, but I, I was quite happy with how it looked. And I didn't want to add more gel paint because I was going to end up throwing it away anyway. <laughs> you know, scraping it off anyway. Right, so there's her bow. I know we we haven't put any definition on yet, so don't worry that it looks a bit odd. Um, the next two colours that I mixed together were the brown and the white to make their fleshy colour. So now we're going to paint on the arms and the face. I am going to go over some of the detail like where her mouth is but don't worry because I mean the mouth is really easy to put on anyway it's not it's just like a little an upside down U kind of so it's not like it's not difficult to remember. <laughs> Also, I hope I'm not. I hope I've not sped this up too much. Oh yeah, if you make any mistakes, just sort of try and wipe it off, <laughs> and then 
neaten it up. That's going to go in the lamp again for 60 seconds. So every time I use a colour, I do cure it in the lamp for a full cure after I've done it. Um, I, I was going to like part cure, but I thought if I did that, it would be just my luck that it would wrinkle. Uh, so the the pink, I mixed a little bit with of the Madame Glam. They've got a neon pink. I can't think what it's called. Let me see. Uh, no, that's hot coral. Um, all right. I mixed a bit of ultra pink, which is their neon pink, with their plain pink to make this slightly less neon pink. Oh, I added a little bit of purple in it as well because it looked a little bit... Yeah, I added a tiny, tiny little bit of purple in there as well to make the pink of this one. Yeah, right, that's going to go in the lamp again. Is it? I don't know. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to add the black. So <clears throat> when I add the black, the I will obviously add the, the detail. I'll add the... Like the colour to the eyes and the colour to the feet, like their little shoes. And then I will also begin to add, add, add like outline to the whole thing. And when you start to do that, it obviously makes it, it makes it look a lot better because it gives it a lot more definition. Am I making sense? I hope I am. I hope I'm making sense. This also, the eyes were hard to do because where the eyes were black, I couldn't see the end of my brush. So I didn't know how where my brush quite was because my brush was black where it had gel paint on and then the gel paint on the nail was black and it made it difficult for me to see the end of my brush. <laughs> so that was a bit orcs. Awkward. There we go, do their little shoes. See this part, their, their bodies are all exactly the same. So at this point, I felt almost like, no, not at this point, when I got to bubbles like once I'd done bubbles I was like I reckon I could do a power puff girl without even having to like I reckon I could do it from memory because that's how similar they were <laughs> Ooh, big words nuts yeah I know I'm probably being a bit of a smart ass now so shush okay um right so yeah that's the feet and then it was kind of here I decided to start going around this is the bit where I struggle is the outlining because you, you have to do it like, I was trying to be so neat. And I mean, m most of the time it was all right. And because the, on on other images of them, that you, if you find them on the internet, the, the line around their face is actually quite thick. So if I made a mistake, it wouldn't, it didn't really matter because I could have just thickened up the line slightly. So they are quite, in, in terms of like hand painted cartoons, these ones are quite nice to do because it, it can be quite forgiving. But when I put them all together at the end, I did notice that their eyes were all slightly different sizes. <laughs> so if you see them individually, they look great. But when you put them all together, that's when you start to you start to realise that, oh, actually, I didn't do that quite right on that one. Or do you know, you know what I mean? So, like, I just thought, well, I just won't show anyone them all together. And then I filmed them all together at the end and, and photographed them all together at the end. So you're going to see it anyway. <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy, crazy times. See, this is where you're, we're just now adding, like, the outline. And it's just all starting to come together now. I love doing these. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to hand paint next. I was thinking something easy again, like the Simpsons or what was the other thing I thought I thought of? I don't know. Just have a let me know if there's some not like someone asked me if I could do Barbie, and I think Barbie's gonna be a little bit too difficult because she's a bit more lifelike. So I'm not very good at lifelike stuff. The cartoons, yeah, it's fine. But yeah. Oh, and then before I cured this, so I used that dotting tool to create the whites of the eyes because it will give you more of a perfect circle than if I use my brush. And then because the mouth is obviously nowhere near the white of the eyes, I added that on so that I could cure them both at the same time. Oh, and the little, yeah, the little lines on the hair. Oh, and yeah, and I decided to go around the colour of their eye, the eyes. I don't know that I'd done this on all of them. Did I? Did I? Did I? No, I only done this on her. I didn't do it on the other two because they didn't have black. Yeah, they didn't have. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But there we go. So she's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then I decided 
um, I'm going to use I'm blushing. So if you remember that picture, um, I'll try and add it here. They had like where they were flying, they, they left a little trail of like color. So instead of painting, I thought I'd add some glitter because <laughs> we all love glitter. Well, this is the this is confetti. This is I think this is in the confetti section of the Now Sugar website. By the way, you can get 30 percent off madam glam using my code natmug30 though it won't work if they have a sale which is unfortunate but more unfortunate for me because i don't get the commission <laughs> and you can save 10 percent on nail sugar using my code natmug10 so grab yourself some of that gorgeous confetti i've popped that in the lamp to cure oh i did put the the, the confetti i put into that uncured base coat so that i could cure it and then when i come to top coat now it just stays in in place and then, yeah, this is the Velvet Matte Top Coat from Madden Glam. So we're just going to go over the entire nail. If you want to leave it shiny, you can. I like it matte. I love hand-painted things matte. That's what it would look like if you wanted it shiny, though. Gives you a bit of an idea. Just making sure that I got the sides and the top. And then I will pop that into the lamp for a 30-second cure. And that is her finished. I think she's so cute oh let me know as well which is your favorite powerpuff girl blossom buttercup or bubbles there we go i'll show you them all together there we go oh i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free um websites and discount codes below let me know if you want to see bubbles as well and i'll do that for you god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye